Our next speaker was supposed to be Mark Evan Jackson, but he has already been on stage once tonight, and also he mispronounced my name. So screw that. So please welcome our next speaker, Paul Sport. Get it out and then fucking stop. You got a bunch of red team like people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that got your attention, huh? All right, we got some stuff to go through. This is important, so. Uh, okay. Shh. Genius. Vision. The ability to perfectly encapsulate complex thoughts and emotions and express them concisely through art without the use of language. So many of us strive for it, few achieve it. Those who do are born with the ability, and the rest of us can merely watch from a distance and admire. Perhaps learn something? Who can say? I want to talk to you tonight about the greatest moment in 1970s rock music history. To do that, I need to talk to you about the Eagles song, Hotel California. To do that, I need to talk to you about the Eagles album, Hotel California. And to do that, I need to talk to you about the Eagles. The Eagles technically just Eagles, but universally referred to with the definite article, are an American rock band formed in California in 1971. They were one of the most successful music acts of the 70s. And in their most prominent years, between their debut album Eagles in 1972 and their breakup eight years later, following their 1979 album The Long Run, they had five number one singles, six number one albums, won six Grammy Awards, and five American Music Awards. The 1976 album, Their Greatest Hits, 1971 to 1975, still holds the record for the best-selling album of all time in the United States, at 38 million copies and counting. Worldwide, as of 2020, the album sold over 45 million copies, making it the world's best-selling Greatest Hits album and third best-selling album of all time. The band's sound, influenced by rhythm, blues, soul, bluegrass, and rock bands such as The Birds and Buffalo Springfield, exemplifies what came to be known as California Rock. <laughs> a softer-edged rock and roll variant, tinged with elements of country music and even some folk. The band members also became entwined with, entwined with and influenced by the community of musicians who lived and gathered in the Laurel Canyon area of Los Angeles at the time, including such luminaries as Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Joni Mitchell, Jackson Brown, Linda Ronstadt, and Harry Nielsen. In early 1976, the lineup at the time, Glenn Fry, Don Felder, Randy Meissner, Don Henley, and newest edition Joe Walsh, began recording their fifth studio album. Between March and October of that year, they laid down a collection of songs that drifted further from their original, much stronger country music roots and toward a harder, more electrified rock sound. The album evolved into somewhat of a concept album, shot through with themes of loss of innocence, the cost of naivete, and the band's own relationship with the perils of fame and excess. <laughs> This was reflected in tracks such as Victim of Love, The Last Resort, Wasted Time, and Life in the Fast Lane. On December 8th, 1976, the completed album, Hotel California, was released. Its themes of weary sadness and weary bitterness were best encapsulated on side one, track one, the album's title song. It was released as the album's second single, and at six minutes, 30 seconds long, it was a risky release being far longer than songs most radio stations at the time generally played. But the song's length works to its advantage, taking its time to set the scene, beginning starkly with bass and ethereal 12-string guitar. Henley's 
lead vocal and drums take in to introduce a stark desert setting and a mysterious hotel, both literal and metaphorical. The chorus features guitar riffs from Joe Walsh and the band's signature vocal harmonies. towards a claustrophobic, foreboding climax, describing a horror film-like inability to escape the hotel, and by extension, one's own tragic circumstances. The song launches into what is inarguably its most memorable feature, dueling guitar solos by Don Felder and Joe Walsh. Thus...
Sonrisa.